in his grandfather's coat, sewn into the lining, a tensioning note. Goodbye to the family, farewell to the shore. Till I taste good fortune, you'll see me no more. Well, a boat on the ocean tossed like a cork. And then one fine morning, they sighted New York. He stood on the gangplank and breathed in the air. A low hand of plenty, I've come for my share. And he did like the latest, the rise and the fall of their ankles and dresses down on the dance floor. And rolling the dice and spinning the wheels. But he took most delight in the slip jigs and reels. There's talk of a pistol and some say a knife. But all are agreed there was somebody's wife A dreadful commotion and a terrible fight He left a man dead and ran into the night And on a train to St. Louis, just one jump ahead He slept one eye open, a six-gun in bed And he dreamt of the mountains and green fields of home or crossing the plain where the buffalo roam And he did like the latest the rise and the fall Of their ankles and dresses down on the dance floor And rolling the dice and spinning the wheels A body took most of the in the slip jigs and reels Now a bad reputation's a hard thing to bear Mothers pour scorn and children they stare So he found consolation in flash company Your life ain't so bad with the girl on each knee And they called him the kid and by twenty-one all that he knew was the power of the gun And by twenty-three he'd shot five men down Who'd got in his way as he rambled around And he did like the latest the rise and the fall Of their ankles and dresses down on the dance floor And rolling the dice and spinning the The jigs and reels. Now there's bones on the desert and buzzards that fly. In the highest of circles, just wishing he'd die. But in matters of cruelty, it must be said, the Lord will pick your bones before you're dead. It was while mescaleros I heard someone say, in the deadliest ambush near old Santa Fe, and the young buck was taken dressed in a coat, and inside the lining. A ten shilling note And he did like the latest The rise and the fall Of their ankles and dresses Down on a dance floor A roll in the dice And spinning the wheels A body took most delight In the slip jigs and reels And roll in the dice and spinning the wheels. The body took most delight in the jigs and reels.
Thank you very much. We've lost our list. Um, from <laughs> Any reviewers here might like to put that down in their little notebooks. You can say that Fairport were very listless last night. And there's the first one to Simon. Uh, it's very nice to be back here. We did recognise the place as soon as we drove in. And um, <laughs> nothing's changed. And it's lovely, and the T-shirts we got eight years ago, we've still got them, although mine doesn't fit. I think it might have <laughs> shrunk. And um, Unaccountably. Please welcome uh, on the violin, Mr. Rick Sanders. Here's Ricky. Thank you. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm overwhelmed. Thank you. Uh, it's fantastic to be here. Actually, it's fantastic to be anywhere. Um, after how, I, after how I felt this morning, I'm suffering from severe jet lag. Although I didn't actually fly anywhere yesterday. I, I, got, uh, I went out partying with Martin last night and he showed me how to get jet lag without a plane, which is, uh, uh, which is good. Um, we're going to play for you a tune, um, a tune, uh, which is it's actually the first track that appears on a new Fairport acoustic CD. Um, acoustic CD? Does that mean it works without electricity? I don't know. I don't know. But it's called Old New Borrowed Blue, and um, this one, unusually for us, is written in the style... It's kind of a swing jazz style. It's, it's uh, written in the style of jangling rhino hide, the well-known typing error. <laughs> and... Um, <laughs> and the guys, um, well, uh, they have to sit down for this one, as you, so you can see. Um, yeah, but they're sitting down, no, they are sitting down on these specially provided uh, acoustic chairs that we have tonight. These are and uh, we've discovered that acoustic chairs are the best type to get. I mean, consider the alternative, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. <laughs> well, you know, so this is called the Woodworm Swing, and uh, it goes nothing like this, thank you.
Red Worm Swing, Martin Alcock on guitar. Let's hear it from Marty. Rick Saunders, Seal the Scraper. It don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. Come with me on the magic carpet of music, if you will. Back to the heady days of 1969. When the world, or large parts of the world, were in black and white, as we know too well from our TV screens. Documentary footage of the era proves this point beyond any doubt. But in those far off and distant, heady, optimistic sort of feeling days, a young bunch of naive and indeed fashionably optimistic young people called Fairfall Convention went into a recording studio and made an album called Legion Leaf. Which, which title still defeats the spell checker on most people's <laughs> word process. Many things have changed in the intervening weeks. <laughs> but there has been one small still constant over that time. This song is still in the fucking repertoire. <laughs> and it's still in D minor. Even more puzzling, really. All those changes that have happened, but as any good Spinal Tap fan will have recognized immediately, D minor is the saddest of all keys. <laughs> so now for your partial delectation, we'd like to present a, a song bequeathed to us by two ex-members of this organisation, if organisation is not taking the use of the word a little too far. <laughs> a song bequeathed to us, as I say, by Mr Swarbrick and Mr Thompson, Crazy Man Michael. Talking. Your future, your future, I will tell to you. Your future, you often have asked me. Your true love will die by your own right hand. And crazy man, Michael, will curse it be. Michael, he ranted. And he beat at the four winds with his fist so He laughed and he cried, he shouted and he swore For his mad mind had trapped him with a kiss Oh, you speak with an evil, you speak with a hate You speak for the devil that taunts me or is she not the fairest in all this broad land? Your sorcerer's words are to haunt me. Took out his dagger of fire and of steel And he struck down the raven through the heart oh, The bird fluttered long and the sky it did spin 
and a cold earth did wonder and start Oh, where is the raven that I cut down dead that here did lie on the ground? Oh, I see but my true love for the moon so red where her lover's heart it did And he talks to the night and the day But his eyes, they are sane And his speech, it is plain That he longs to be far away Now Michael, he whistles The simplest of tunes And asks of the four winds their pardon for his true love is flown into every flower grown And he must be keeper of the garden We thank you. Have a sense of loss Why is there always this pitch and toss? Once the hero in a cloud of dust Now the boy needs the mother's trust You've reached for reasons and you've pushed for time You're lost for words but too weak to mime There once was love but not for long And in love where they both belong Some conversation but much too late a bad combination of a twist of fate There once was love, but not for long Hand in love where they both belong Some conversation, but much too late A bad combination of a twist of fate Seem to turn to stone You read your stars And you racked your brain But you lost her number On a wage of pain There once was love But not for long And in love Where they both belong Some conversation But much too late A bad combination Of the twists of fate So she goes So she leaves Suitcase of clothes One final heave the links in the couplings take the strain Empty tracks and the driving rain Just one more step and you cross the line You watch the light and the dark she climbs the stairs to a simple flame But on your doorstep she's left the blame And there once was love, but not for long And in love where they both belong Sweet conversation, but much too late A bad combination of the twists of fate There once was love, but not for long And in love where they both belong but much too late A bad combination of a twist of fate So she goes, so she leaves Suitcase of clothes, one final heave 
the links in a couple links take the strain into tracks and the driving rain. Thanks. This is a song now from Steve Tilston, who wrote the first one that we played tonight. And this is a, a song about a chap who sets out for work as normal one morning to go and uh, rob the stagecoach. And he meets a young lady on th who takes him behind a tree and makes, it, makes him very happy. <laughs> he is, in a word, waylaid. <laughs> and when he wakes up, he can't go to work anymore because she's stolen everything, his horse and his hat and his cloak and his mask, his swords and pistols, his power book and his mobile. <laughs> so he's left as the Naked Highwoman, which is the name of this song. Good link, eh? This song features more words than the rest of the show put together. <laughs> so good luck, Simon. Thank you. I roamed up on summer's day for profit and for pleasure I ran to rob the London coach and take it at my leisure The brace of pistols duly planned to save a fit to shave on I waited underneath the trees that lined the banks of Devon I didn't hear a dainty step as she appeared before me Her face to charm a singing bird with words that did implore me Can you help me sir, she said, I fear the time is near Run for me to cross before the tide swells the banks of Devon All you golden fellows, listen why you can the time that I became the naked highwayman Come on, you moving fellows, listen while you can Off the time that I became the naked highwayman So gallantly I did dismount and walked into the border As she told me that she was a wealthy merchant's daughter So I thought I'd try my luck and do my best to charm her Said I was the only son of a country farmer your hands they are as smooth as silk, they never touch the plows sir. And I suppose those pistols help you milk it with your cows She looked at me with mocking eyes as cold like as a raven Then she fell into my arms beside the fence of the barn All you rolling fellows, listen while you can Half the time that I became the naked highwayman Come on, all you rolling fellows, listen while you can Half the time that I became the naked highwayman To the slaughter. Eventually I fell asleep in the arms of the merchant's daughter When I awoke I was alone, my clothes and pistols taken With just the leaves to hide my shame beside the banks of Yvonne In vain 
I tried to catch a glimpse of the city spires Running like a rabbit through the bushes and the briars And then I heard the London coach and I was all a shiver The lady's voice was calling out, stand to and deliver There's some money again Off the time that I became the naked highwayman Come on, all you broken fellows Listen while you can Off the time that I became the naked highwayman Money all your life, I'll have it's all the same to me It's hang it for a sheep for murder in the first degree She stood there in my overcoat Brandishing my pistol And relieved the London coach of the gold of Bristol up she's mounted on my horse and rode into the distance As I went naked to the coach, begging for assistance No more I'll play the highwayman, no more I'll put that mask on I'll leave it to that bright-eyed girl who roams the banks of Bay Bond All you Roman fellows, listen while you can Off the time that I became the naked highwayman Come on, all you Roman fellows, listen while you can Off the time that I became the naked highwayman I'm a state for profit and for pleasure I'd better rob the London coach and take it at my leisure A brace of pistols, truly pine to save a fit to shave on I'll wait it underneath the trees that line the banks of Bay Bond Mr. Simon. Mr. Simon Nicholl, ladies and gentlemen. What a memory. What a set of dentures. Thank you. It's an old oh. trick. We're we'll probably best to have an instrumental now. Yeah. At least a, at least a, a tune with less words in. This one's certainly got less words in, being an instrumental. Um, <laughs> it's actually from the 1986 album that we did, which I think I'm right in saying was the first... Album a slot made together along with uh, absent Mr. Maddox. We made uh, the album Expletive Delighted. All instrumental. And um, we actually printed on the cover um, lyric sheet enclosed. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, quite a lot of people wrote to us complaining that they hadn't got the lyric sheet. Uh, so we sent them back a, you know, a blank sheet of paper. <laughs> they were happy. So sort of the first for Fairport in the world of marketing there. Um, this tune is called Port Merion. Um, don't clap on your own server, I'll throw you a fish. Now, um, but thank you very much. Thank you, though. Thank you. Um, old music hall joke. I got that joke from the British Museum earlier this year. When I was it was there being carbon dated. Um, and... Uh, Port Merion is, uh, is a magical and mystical place just outside Birmingham <laughs> in, a, <laughs> in a place called Wales, it is. And actually, you may have seen... Are you familiar over here? I hate to interrupt, but no, I'll just I'll tell these good people that yeah. everywhere's like magical and mystical out of Birmingham. Yeah. <laughs> Peggy and I are both from Birmingham. Birmingham's, Birmingham is a great place to come from. To go to, not so good, but to come from, it's, it's pretty good. And um, the area where Peggy grew up there recently, the government accidentally dropped an atom bomb on it. It, uh, it did four pounds worth of damage. <laughs> um, I'm losing my drift here. What was I talking about? Ah, yes, Port Merion. You may have seen it. Did you get over here the, um, that cult 60s uh, series, The Prisoner? Yeah. You know that? With, with Patrick McGowan. Yeah, well, that was filmed at Port Merion, so if you want, you can visualise that place. It's a, real, it's a real place. It wasn't a movie set or anything. It was a, a fa sort of fantastic village built by an eccentric architect. And uh, Patrick McGoon, of course, was recently in uh, Braveheart. Did you see him in that? He was the villainous Edward Longshanks. Well, I think he was. I'm, I, I, 
the copy I had wasn't too good. I think it was a pirate copy, actually. <laughs> copy I wasn't, wasn't too... Uh, wasn't actually called Braveheart as such. It was <laughs> Lethal Bagpipes 3, my copy was called. <laughs> listen out in this one. Um, please. It's a serious number. Listen, listen out for the devastating bass solo. Although this bass solo is, I have to confess, short. It's a sort of minimalist brilliance of, a, of the type that Anton Webern would have been proud of. Um, who is Anton Webern? Anyway, get on with it. Yes, OK. Um, this, one, this one starts, uh, starts off pizzicato, uh, which is exactly what I was last night after the third Long, <laughs> Long Island iced tea. <laughs> Martin often goes on holiday to Fort Memory with his family. He'll recreate one of his holidays there in music for you this very moment and now.
Hey, Peg. Simon Nickel, Martin Alcock. Simon Nickel, ladies and gentlemen. As, as has been frequently remarked, my solos are my trademark. You don't get many solos, do you, Simon? No, God's good like that. Uh, now then, this is a song from Canada, from one of Canada's best known and uh, best loved singer-songwriters. Hey. Hey. Uh, Wade Hemsworth. So uh, the kind of reaction that Wade's announcement of, of name there tends to get in places like <laughs> Newcastle and Manchester. I'll get in tune while you tell them a okay. little bit more. You about know, this in England we have this uh, mad cow disease. It's named after our ex prime minister. <laughs> And uh, th this is a song about uh, a, sh a sheep which is similarly uh, afflicted. It's called Foolish You. <laughs> uh, what's the difference between a Rolling Stone and a Scotsman? A Rolling Stone says, Hey, you get off my cloud. And uh, a, sc a Scotsman says, Hey, my cloud, get off my you. <laughs> With all due respect to Mr. McLeod, who was on <laughs> earlier, of course. And uh, also, it, in Scotland, they, they've got some new rules for the game of chess. You know, the bishop can jump anything. <laughs> Favor on your pony While the one who waits behind you Foolish me Is left alone Sad and foolish That's how I feel Don't you know How fortune favors you Fortune's blind As blind as you My dear What a pity Oh foolish you Leaving me this way is hardly fair Must I go seek my fortune too? Or can I wait till fall in my eternal way home To me and foolish you Sad and foolish, that's how I feel Don't you know how fortune favors you? Fortune's fine, as fine as you, my dear I want a pity Oh, foolish you, here's Ricky. That was very nice, here's Martin. Loving you was good, love was kind I didn't mind the payments overdue Because the price of loving is none too dear As long as I have foolish you Sad and foolish, that's how I feel Don't you know how fortune favors you? Fortune's blind, as blind as you my dear, what a pity, oh foolish you, sad and foolish, that's how I feel, when I see the foolish ways you do, fortune fails when you But I still want more of foolish you I still want for a foolish you
Thanks. This is a, a song now from an accountant in Wolverhampton. He wrote this when he was charging somebody £95 plus VAT an hour. And um, this song about somebody who's in the army and decides he doesn't like it anymore, so he runs away. He boldly, bravely runs away. And although it's not, strictly speaking, a chorus song, it, it does uh, have a sort of refrain element to it, which, uh, if you can pick up on it, it's very simple. If you're not too shy to pick up on it, is what I imply, really. Um, then it does help the song along quite a lot. I stand in a land that isn't my own Far from the country that I know is home I was sent here by a government and harmed by a king And I'm told I must kill men in order to bring There he lies on the land, no longer his own, in the grey of the country that he once called his home. He was sent here by his government, and he might not agree, and if someone must kill him, God, why is it me to bring peace to this fall? Don't despise the deserter. Don't despise the deserter. Don't despise the deserter who ran from the war. Don't despise the deserter. Don't despise the deserter. Don't despise the deserter who ran. Went down to drag him away from the wire When the rifles to the left of me started to fire He was riddled with bullets I was smothered in blood And I can't see how murdering somebody could Bring peace to some fall Don't despise the deserter. Don't despise the deserter who ran from the war. Don't despise the deserter. Don't despise the deserter who ran from. So I ran from the fighting and I threw down my gun I ran with the moon and 
last left by the sun Arrested by government And charged by the king To be shot Cause I can't kill in order to bring Peace to some foreign land Don't despise the deserter Don't despise the deserter Who ran from the war Don't despise the deserter Don't despise the deserter who ran from the war. Thanks. This uh, next piece is a, a jig what I wrote for the, the previous record. We have lots of previous record. <laughs> and uh, this is a jig that I wrote for the album Jewel in the Crown. And uh, having written the tune, I had to think of a title for it so you can tell it apart from all the other jigs. And I was reading about King Henry I of England, or King Henry, as he was known back then. And uh, he was quite partial to this fish called the lamprey, which is one of those fish that eats, swims along the bottom of the river and eats all the shite at the bottom of the river, you know. The bottom feeder, <laughs> in fact. <laughs> <laughs> memories, memories. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> one day King Henry I, he ate so many of these lampreys, these bottom feeders, that he... Uh, got dysentery and shat himself to death. <laughs> Not terribly regal behaviour, you'd think, really. But I suppose by the standards of the current royal family, it's not too bad. <laughs> so it's called a surfeit of lampreys. <laughs>
Mr. Martin Alcock, author. Matt. Thank you very much. Sir. Um, we do have this new CD out on um, Green Linnet Records, but we're too lazy to carry them around with us. Um, you know, because the boxes keep falling apart and stuff. And it's the spirit of British enterprise that's got yeah. the empire where it is today, let's face it. Ladies and gentlemen. So, um, in, but you're very welcome to go and get this CD. It's called Old Dot New Dot Borrow Dot Blue. Snappy internet title there for you. And, um, and it's available supposedly in your record shops. But <laughs> Hang on, let, sorry. I was saying there's this CD. <laughs> but, um, and the CDs are very heavy to carry around as, as well. But um, so instead of taking the CDs, we've got these CD cleaning kits, which we're selling for five dollars. <laughs> um, and they're available um, over at the counter. They're very good and, and they work really well. Um, and they're only five bucks. And One size fits all. We're all it's wearing all them as we've run out of clean laundry. And they're very comfortable. <laughs> and, um, and this is one of the songs from, from our new release. And it's uh, written by um, somebody who we'd like to know a lot better. But he won't return our phone calls. Um, and he's, his name is James Taylor. And we, we love James. Um, I love him so much I've had my hair cut the same way as him. <laughs> and this is called Frozen Man. Thank you.
Don't leave him nothing to work on You can raise your arm You can wiggle your hand You can wave goodbye to this frozen demand Well, I know what it means to freeze to death To lose a little life with every breath To say goodbye to life on earth And then come about again Lord, have mercy on a frozen demand song of our new acoustic record and uh, it's a tune that I wrote about five years ago when I kept asking the boys to play it with me and they kept saying no because <laughs> it's very democratic Fairport you know the Indi independent republic of Fairport so ev eventually after much badgering they said well write some words for it then and we'll think about it knowing full well that I can hardly string two together never mind write words to a song so I asked a friend of ours uh, a great fiddle player, mandolinist, singer, lovely all-round all decent bloke, and honorary fair porter, Chris Leslie, to come up with something. So he said, well, what's it about? I said, I don't know, it hasn't got any words. <laughs> <laughs> but Chris is a qu quick chap like that. <laughs> so uh, he came up with the idea of writing a song about the figurehead of the old sailing ships, which is the wooden lady at the pointy end. And so... Uh, you don't have to patronise them, you know. Davis has got a long and honourable seafaring tradition. Like he's gone for a wee wee. He said he was going to get a bottle of wine, but in fact, we all know he's, he's you know, losing it in the bladder department. You know, <laughs> sneaking off and pretending it's a bottle of wine. So anyway, the, uh, <laughs> it probably is. the sailors used to have this special relationship with this lady made of wood, which is purely spiritual, I hasten to add. Here he is. I didn't go for a piss. <laughs> I went, to, I went to get this because you're holding that in a damn convenient position, though. <laughs> so anyway, the uh, figurehead in question and the ship, and therefore the song is called Lala Rook. Ship she sails across the bar line. The port is slipping out of view. A realm and oak come through the water. The figurehead will guard our crew. Oh, la la boo. The princess of old India. She looks ahead for storm or calm. She's all I have for my 
salvation with the muscle in my arm. Oh, la, la, la. Please sing of me when I Flattened by the desires, don't give your love while we're apart. The gulls no longer circle around us, the sun is strong upon. We're pulling hard upon the ropes now. We hope this wind will last four days. Ooh, la, la, Think of me when I am on the deep And keep me safe within your heart Don't be flattered by the side Don't give your love while we're Coming home, the moon's behind us. How many times I have called your name. I'll hold you in my arms so tightly till I go to see again. Oh, la, la, la. Till I go to see again. Oh, la, la, la.
cuckoo tree, you bastards keep singing your lady mother along to keep us company. Walk a while, walk a while, walk a while with me. The more we walk together, love, the better we'll Tompkins wife three miles down the road and he's running for his life and his money and his milk walk a while walk a while walk a while with me the more we walk together love them the better we'll agree The better we'll agree We'll agree song from our friend Ralph McTell, and uh, who toured America recently. Did he come over this far? No. Santa Monica. Uh, <laughs> Unless, of course, he might have been on his way back from New Zealand. Oasis didn't get this far west either, did he? Who? But, but that's because, um, you know, when they arrived over and Liam wasn't with them, have you been to Terminal 4 at Heathrow? It's bloody miles to the plane. Probably got sagged out halfway through. Anyway, um, this is a song that Ralph wrote. It's about uh, a young chap who goes down to the hiring fair, which is where the people used to get employment. And you well, we had such a concept. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you go and stand in line, and the farmer would come along and he'd say, what are you good at? And he'd say, uh, sheep, or hey, if or you're Canadian. Or bazaar, <laughs> if you're Martin. <laughs> and he'd say, yeah, come and work for me for a year. So this lad's in line there, and he sees the girl of his dreams, and <laughs> and it's the same farmer picks the both of them, so he gets the job and the girl, and they all live happily ever after. But it is only a song. Dreaming and in my dreams caress her lips, her 
Rides her long dark hair that clothed the teeth her dress. All this time it came at length, so heavy was our task that the women and the men work side by side. So I had her near at last. I swung harder with my side, few words between us passed. And I cursed my tongue-tied youthfulness, and hoped she'd hear my heart. And all was safely gathered in, and we sat down to rest. My trembling fingers brushed her arm, she placed them on her breast. sun went down and all my senses reeled And we lay there on the scented ground Till the moon rose over the field Did the sound of the violin And we hurried to the farm We all were dancing in the lantern light And the music filled the air And I thank the Lord and the harvest moon For the girl from the hiring fair Thank you very much, Ralph. Thanks, we're going to play a couple of uh, Irish jigs now. These are dance tunes from Ireland in jig time. And the first one's called Con Casey's Jig, named after a great fiddle player from Donegal, whose name escapes me at the moment. And the second tune is called Tripping Up the Stairs, which is what me and Rick were doing last night. Not quite the 
the same vibe, mm. really. Then. Mr. Martin Orcock, Mr. Simon Nicholl, the Everly Brothers. Un unfair comparison there because actually Martin and I are still talking. Just, just. Now here's a, here's a number, um, what we tend to associate ourselves with um, that uh, end of the night kind of moment because this is the last one, although it is quite a long one. <laughs> it, is, it is the last, we've reached the bottom of the list, in other words. The time has come, and so have we. And so has Martin. Um, we, we have another gig to go to, it's in um, Santa Cruz. This guitar's going home tomorrow. <laughs> but it's coming out with us the next day, isn't it? I hope so. Yeah. Let's go and see its dad. It's from Santa Cruz, you see. So uh, this is a 500-year-old murder ballad. Apparently there is a 500-year-old man helping police with inquiries on this one. <laughs> and it's only got two chords, but 19 verses on a good night. And, um, and they're, uh, they're, they're actually, um, in case anybody's writing this down, 
seems unlikely, really, but um, <laughs> sort of like it's a kind of modal D minor-ish kind of D, and and a sort of rather uncertain C with a sort of lot of D in it. <laughs> Sounds it's like bass player talk to me. <laughs> Right chords, wrong tune. You must ask Sting where he gets those tight underpants from. I think uh, those CD cleaners. They're Fairport scanty panties he wears. That's <laughs> that's how he can sing so high. Well, that and you know, putting himself in silly positions for five hours a day, stuff like that. He doesn't have to get in. If you sting, you don't get in vans, Martin. Well, let's hear another version of those two chords. Okay, now the Oasis song. Come on, they're quicker than America, that. Please, Come on, somebody, somebody do it for me. American history of practical maths.
holiday and the first one off to give. Lord Arnold's wife in the church and the gospel she did hear. And when the meeting it was done, she cast her eyes about. There she spied little Matty Groves a walking through the crowd. Said, Come home with me, little Matty Groves. Come home with me tonight. Come home with me, young Matty Groves, and sleep with me delight. Oh, I can't come home and I won't go home sleeping with you tonight. Oh, with the rings on your fingers, I can see that you are my master's wife. And what if I am Lord Arnold's wife? He is not at home. He's gone to the far country and he's bringing a yearling home. But a servant who was standing by hearing what was said Small and Arnold he would know before the sun had set And in her hurry to carry his news she bent her breast and she ran And when she came to the broad mill stream she took off her shoes and she swam Little Matty Groves, he lay down and he took a little sleep. But when he awoke, Lord Arnold was standing by his feet, saying, How do you like my feather bed? How do you like my sheets? How do you like my lady wife who lies in your arms asleep? Oh, well, I like your feather bed, better I like your sheets. Best of all, I like your lady gay who lies in my arms asleep. Get up, get up, Lord Arnold cried. Get up as quick as you can. But it'll never be said in fair England that I slew a naked man. Oh, I can't get up. I won't get up. I wouldn't get up for my life. For you have too long beaten swords and I not a pocket knife. It's true, I have two beaten swords. They cost me deep in my purse. But you will have the better of them, and I will give the worse. And you will strike me the very first blow. Strike it like a man. I will strike the very next blow, and I'll kill you if I can! So Matty struck the very first blow and he heard what Arnold saw. Lord Arnold struck the very next blow and Matty struck no more. Then he took his own dear wife, sat her up on his knee, said, Who do you like the best of us now? You're dead, Matty Groves, or me? But that up spoke his own dear wife, never heard speak so free. I would rather one kiss from dead Matty's lips than you and all of your finery. And that Lord Arnold, he jumped up, loudly did he ball. He struck his white right through the heart and he pinned it up to the wall. A grave, a grave, Lord Arnold cried to put these lovers in. But won't you bury my lady at the top? For she was a noble kin.
Thanks. Goodbye. Thank Alex you, Sanders. Thank you. Whoa. Martin Alcock. The David Pegg person. Mr. Simon Nichol. And we chiefly, you. yourselves. Thank you all. Thank you. You're wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Big thank you to Rob Bravener on Bravener sound. Understand. Rob Bravener. Rob Z. The Palms for having us. Thank you, Palms. Your good selves for coming. Ta. We love you. Thank you. Good night. God bless. We'll be out to say hello. <laughs> <laughs>